Yes, my princess? You'd... You'd like to hear some poetry? Very well. It will be my honor to read some to you. When, in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy contented least. Yet, in these thoughts, myself almost despising, happily I think on thee. And then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth, sings at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Come to me in my dreams, and then by day I shall be well again. For so the night will more than pay the hopeless longing of the day. Come, as thou camest a thousand times, a messenger from radiant climes, and smile on thy new world, and be as kind to others as to me. Or, as thou never camest in sooth, come now, and let me dream it truth, and part my hair and kiss my brow, and say, My love, why sufferest thou? Come to me in my dreams, and then by day I shall be well again, for so the night will more than pay the hopeless longing of the day. She walks in beauty, like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that is best of dark and bright meets in her aspect and in her eyes. Thus mellowed to that tender light, which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every silky tress, or softly lightens o'er her face, where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days and goodness spent a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Since first I saw your face, I resolve to honor and renown ye. If now I be disdained, I wish, I wish my heart had never known ye. What I that loved and you that liked, shall we begin to wrangle? No, oh no, my heart is fast and cannot disentangle. If I admire or praise you too much, that fault you may forgive me. Or if my hands had strayed but a touch, then justly you might leave me. I asked your leave, you bid me love. Is now a time to chide me? No, oh no, I love you still, what fortune e'er betide me. 
The sun, whose beams most glorious are, rejecteth no beholder. And your sweet beauty past compare made my poor eyes the bolder. Where beauty moves and wit delights and signs of kindness bind me, there, oh there, where I go, I'll leave my heart behind me. Thank you for listening, my princess. I hope that you'll have a wonderful day.